Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group, and let's jump right in. Today's poster wanted to take this picture I have over here in the corner, and it's at 6,000 by 4,000 pixels, and she wanted to change it to a 1920 by 1200 to fit her screen. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into here. It, this will open up. How do we know what size it is? If you uh, left click right here, it'll tell you right there that the width is 6,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. All right, so that's obviously too big. So what we want to do is open up a new um, file, a blank file. And let's make this file to be 1920 by 1200. So the width will be 1900. And then the height will be 1200 and make sure that this on the side here is set to pixels instead of inches for this so once you hit ok that's going to open up a new blank file that's exactly 1900 by 1200 and all you do is go back to the photo uh, file and just drag that into the new one and it'll come in really big but if you zoom out and you'll see that the photo is the outline is much bigger than my uh, 1920 by 1200. All you do is grab one of the four corners, not the middle ones, because if you drag the middle ones, you're going to squeeze it. That's not what you want to do. Grab any corner and it'll stay the same aspect ratio. So I made it a little smaller and I have up here under view, I have snap to layers and document bounds. That allows you to, for it to snap to any layers or the or the edges of the document. So I'll get it really close over here, and that will put it right there. I'm going to bring it a little bit smaller. Now you're going to see something that's a little odd is that it's not filling up over here, and the reason is is that the 6,000 by 4,000 is a different aspect ratio than 1920 by 1200. So it's never going to fit exactly perfect. In this case, you want to enlarge it a little bit to fill the screen. So we're going to grab one of those corners again and enlarge it until it fills the screen. It'll snap on the edge. But let's say you wanted to zoom in. I believe the poster wanted to zoom in in the center of the photo. So you just kind of pull it out, make it bigger from that side and from this side. And you can grab the photo and center it or move it over to one side, you know, anything you want. Um, and it'll always stay centered because there's this little center pin right here and you'll know where the center of the screen is because it snaps there automatically. So now I can make it bigger by grabbing one of the corners and let's say we like it right there. That's zoomed in right there. Whatever size you want it, that's what you want to make it. You hit OK by clicking the green check mark. Then we go to our cropping tool and then set it up in the upper left uh, corner and click the left mouse button and hold on to the crop and go to the bottom right corner all the way to the end, it'll automatically go to the very edge. Let go, hit OK, and there you have a new, brand new picture. What's, what size is it? Come down here, left click, and it's 1900 by 1200. And all you have to do is save this as a JPEG, and there you go. I hope this helps uh, out, and that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quit, saying over and out.